Hey everybody, Trevor here, TNT Overhaul. Hope everybody had a good Christmas and a good New Year. Today is New Year's Day. Um, working on a 2006 Ford F-350 Super Duty 6.0 diesel. And um, we got an issue with the fuel injector control module. So we're going to uh, pull that out and we're going to re, re, uh, repair it. Um, so anyway, your fuel injector control module, what, what, what we got going on with this one particularly, uh, instead of running at a 48 volt, um, she's running about 30 to 45 roughly uh, volts. So um, that's causing a lot of issues. It, it's hard starting. Once it does start, it just runs real choppy and uh, poorly for quite a while. Uh, we get over boost codes, under boost codes. It does have some EGR codes, so that's going to be a later video. We're going to we're going to check out the EGR valve. Supposedly the EGR cooler has been replaced on this truck. We'll see about that. Sure, don't look like it looking down there, but anyway. So for today, uh, I know the EG or the FICM FICM they call it. I know the fuel injection control module is uh, definitely the issue. So we're going to fix that today. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take out this. Nice little cold air intake. Uh, it's eight millimeter on the band clamps. You got a mass airflow sensor here, and then eight millimeter. These two screws, bear and bear. And we're gonna pull the uh, degas bottle out or overflow, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I usually, I, some people, everybody has their own issues, but I usually just take this one off and I just pull this BZ out of the way and let it hang. So. Um, but anyway, you know, everybody's different, so let's get after it. So first thing first, we're going to pull the mass airflow sensor plug off. It's just a pinch and a pull, kind of a wiggle sometimes. Uh, it doesn't look like the support brackets they send with it are on there. So we won't worry about that. Go ahead and pull our... off Very good and now we're gonna get our eight millimeter set up I'm gonna take the I'm gonna leave the coupler on the turbo I'm just gonna loosen the band at the pipe and we'll pull this thing right out lol sorry wasn't recording <laughs> but got our clamp out in there so we're just gonna keep messing with her until we get it loose here go there and take pipe out of the way this is your fuel injection control module or fick them fick them or two eight millimeters out Well, I think uh, I'll go ahead and pull that one off. I think it's, I don't know if, I can't remember if it's the newer 6.0s or the older than this 6.0. One of them does not have that. get our eight millimeter back out I think it's a actually it's, yeah it's a 10 so we we'll get our 10 millimeter and then I'm gonna have to get something to get me up there a little further so we can get the back ones okay so once you got all the nuts loose the back one's a little tricky he's a little long skinny quarter inch with a 10 millimeter shallow to get to those guys once you're loose and your 
terminals are all disconnected. I wish I could show you, but we're going to lift up. Dang, I wish I could show you. Um, I don't have my pin light. Let's see what I can do here. There we go. So you got three plugs. You're going to want to give them a pinch, good firm pinch, a little bit of a wiggle side to side, pull them straight down and unplug them. You got three of them. So get those unplugged. Be very careful. Pinch, side to side motion, a little wiggle wiggle. All right, once you get all those loose, you just want to bring it right on out of there. Nice and easy. Ooh, cool. That's how you do it around there, brothers. So, this right here is your FICM Thickum Fuel Injector Control Module. Doesn't look too bad. Sometimes you see these with some cracks and whatnot. But everything looks pretty good. Uh, but the issue, obviously, is on the inside. And uh, I'm going to show you how to address that. Okay, so we got... The new part in, we got our T20 Torx, we're going to pull, pull this small cover out of place. and this will give us access to the screws that are holding the panel that we're after. Well, that's good. This one has a really good seal. I like it. Okie dokie. So that'll give us access to these. This is definitely the factory one. It's got all the blue stripes on it. That's cool. Oh, yep. Forgot. Smaller than a T20. Alright, so the screws on the board are 10 Torx. loosened up we're going to take the screws out set them aside and then uh, we'll flip it over and take the screws out of the box all right so we flip it back over the screws going all the way around the case are all the 20 so we'll get those loose all right so once you get all those screws out break the seal I, I got a little scraper that I use and pull that up carefully kind of inspect everything So very carefully, this is what we're after right here. First things first, you want to pull these covers off, uh, and then we'll pull the screws out. I'll show you where those are, and we'll get that out. Okay, so once you get your covers off, uh, by the way, that's still the 20. Sometimes this one over here, you'll have a little bit too much of that hot glue, epoxy crap. That one's completely covered, so you'll have to work on those, but I believe it's only five. Um, so seven on this one. So you got three over here. One, two, three. That's the, the seventh one. And then one, two, three. So um, uh, I got an O-ring picker that I use. Sometimes you can use just a knife or something like that. And then uh, clean those out of the way. And it's also a 20 on these. And we'll pull that out. All right, so here it is out. This stuff was thick. Nothing noticeable. It's usually these capacitors right in the middle there. Nothing noticeable, but I mean, diagnostics don't lie. You know, running 30 volts to 47 volts. Not good. So that's off. We'll have to get our screws out. Uh, the Dorman kit, which I'm using, comes with these new pads. Um, so we can get those swapped around and it's always fun ripping these off <laughs> and we'll get the new ones on there and then 
reinstall. Let me grab the new ones here real quick. All right, that's new one, new one, and we'll get the new board in there. Here's our new one from Dorman, 904229. Boom. So now we'll put our seven screws back in nice and easy. And then we'll uh, put the case back together. All right, so we got this one in. Now we're going to make sure our gasket's still good. Uh, everything, everything looks good. Got it all tightened down. No debris, no issues. So we'll just uh, reverse process, put the cover back on, and um, put this thing back in the truck. Okie dokie, so we got our Fickham repaired. Now let's see what she do. So right there we're at 48 volts on the main, 48 and a half, that's what I like to see. Glow plug cycled, key on, gonna fire it up. Holding 48. she is fuel injector control module I wish I would have shown you guys before but like I said anywhere from 30 to uh, you know 47 sometimes but you know mostly 30 to 45 so uh, I hope this helps somebody out if you have any questions you know leave some comments below uh, like subscribe share I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers uh, on this darn YouTube channel so uh, as, uh, as they say, you know, hit that, smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much.